Hello everyone and welcome. I'm Nikki Spears, founder of Culture Creation. We are dedicated to helping organizations create and sustain positive culture. Well, today I'm excited to introduce or reintroduce a powerful tool for self-awareness and teamwork, the energy map. I introduced the energy map during your kickoff in December, but I want to begin diving deeper into mastering your personal energy. Since January, we've been working with your leadership team on mastering their leadership energy through energy coaching and workshops. We will share much of this work with you through short videos like this, blogs, and live sessions where you can join in to ask questions and share insights. We will also be coming to you in August to do a workshop for all staff. Our goal at New St. Paul Head Start is that everyone feels empowered. The key to achieving this lies in self-awareness. By understanding what impacts our energy levels, we can not only manage our own energy better, but also foster a more positive and collaborative workplace. The energy map is simple, but oh so powerful. It's an effective tool that characterizes our energy into five levels. The lowest level of energy is helplessness. It's when we feel powerless and we're blaming external factors for our situations. Level two is conflict, tension, experiencing stress, anger, and frustration. Level three is ownership. It's when we take ownership of our thoughts and actions. Level four is servant leadership, focusing on collaboration and mutual benefit. And the highest level is love, feeling joy, compassion, and a connection with others. The crucial point here is the connection between our thoughts and our feelings. When we get stuck in lower level of energy like helplessness and tension, it's often due to our thought patterns. We might blame others, dwell on negativity, or feel like victims. The good news is we can shift our energy by becoming aware of our thoughts and challenging these negative thoughts. We can move towards ownership, servant leadership, and ultimately love those higher energy levels. This month, I want to challenge you to download the map, to use it, and throughout the week, observe yourself. When you feel low energy, note the situation, your feelings, and most importantly, your thoughts, the thoughts that you're having in that moment. For example, I felt frustrated during a meeting today. That's a feeling. I noticed a thought that my ideas weren't being heard. That's your thought. By simply observing, we can identify the source of our low-level energy. Do the same when you experience positive emotions. Notice the thoughts that contribute to feelings of joy, peace, and love. That's when we can welcome more of those feelings into our lives. This is a journey of self-discovery, and each month we'll have new assignments to help you master your energy and become more self-aware. Remember, life isn't about what's happening to you. It's happening through you. And by taking control of your thoughts, you can paint a more positive and fulfilling reality for yourself and for your entire team. So let's embark on this journey together. Take out your energy maps, start observing yourselves, and see how your thoughts shape your world. I can't wait to see the amazing things we achieve together when we're all operating at our highest energy levels. Take care, and I'll see you soon.